It's been reported that uh, Ferrari purchased a Tesla Model S Plaid, and they did it for one, I think, one very good reason. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. So Ferrari, I mean, Ferrari have said um, a few times they're not that keen on electrification, but they will actually make an electric vehicle. So that's what they're doing right now. They're developing their first fully electric vehicle. Keep in mind, in every single test that's been done using Ferrari supercars, whether that's drag time testing, track testing, etc., the fastest existing Ferrari ever is actually a, a Ferrari with a battery pack. Now, it does have an engine as well, but it's a big advantage, say Ferrari. In fact, Ferrari's um, supercar with, it's, called, it's actually technically a, a hybrid, plug-in hybrid, it's able to do a similar performance times to the Tesla Model S Plaid. It's slightly slower, but very, very close. And the key reason for this is it gets off the line so quickly. There's many other cars, other Ferrari supercars, which are similarly as fast, but they take longer to get off the line. So Ferrari, you know, obviously realized that electrification is the way to make faster supercars. Uh, clearly they've already proved it, but they believe that maybe if you had a fully electric supercar, it'd be even faster than a hybrid. And I think that's probably true. Considering the fact that Tesla Model S Plaid is obviously bigger than every Ferrari supercar, and yet it's a little faster. I'm talking a straight line here, not around a corner. Obviously, it's not faster around a track. Um, it's got to be interesting to see Ferrari's next electric supercar. It could be incredible. It could be like a rematch Navira. Speaking of the rematch Navira, the rematch Navira is obviously much faster than any Ferrari ever made, but it's also relatively heavy. Here's the thing though, Ferrari said it wouldn't make us an electric supercar until the technology was mature enough or until it was you know, good enough. And Ferrari basically saying it's, it's happened now. Energy density of new batteries has jumped by about 50% within the last few years for the newest best batteries, meaning Ferrari could potentially make an electric supercar that weighs no more than an internal combustion engine supercar. And it could have a lot more power. I mean, look, Tesla Model S Plaid that Ferrari purchased has 1,100 horsepower. Technically, that's true. Technically though, actually, if you dyno, if you put it on a dyno, you see the Tesla Model S Plaid has a lot more power at the wheels than other internal combustion engine vehicles which claim they have 1,100 horsepower. What that means is, realistically, the Tesla Model S Plaid probably has closer to uh, 1,300 horsepower at the flywheel. And if you were to use, let's say you were to take Tesla's motors that they use in the, the Model S Plaid and put them in a Ferrari, um, it would be ridiculous. It would clearly be the fastest Ferrari ever made. It'd probably scare the pants off you as well. Imagine a new Ferrari electric supercar. Imagine the kind of positive publicity we're going to see from that, from Ferrari saying, yeah, yeah, okay, all right, the future of supercars is actually electric. A lot of people are going to have hissy fits. They're going to go be angry. They're going to probably disown Ferrari as being their favorite car manufacturer. I can see that happening. But anyway, that'll be funny. So Porsche are testing, actually currently right now, testing the Tesla Model S Plaid at their Marinaro facility in Italy. This video is shown of the Model S Plaid, and I don't believe it's the track version. Maybe they weren't able to get that version of the Model S Plaid. Either way, though, obviously, Ferrari want to benchmark it against their late or their new EV that's going to be coming out soon. However, Ferrari are not the only car company which have bought a Tesla Model S Plaid. Apparently, Mercedes purchased one as well. I actually saw one at a General Motors um, a General Motors development site. I've seen, I've shared a video of that with you guys. But also, Lamborghini purchased a Tesla Model X Plaid, which is kind of interesting. Obviously, the Tesla Model X Plaid is kind of a competitor to the Lamborghini, to Lamborghini's SUV. But obviously the Model X Plaid is a bit faster than the Lamborghini SUV. You've probably seen the, you might have seen the drag race on car wow between Tesla, Tesla's Model X Plaid and Lamborghini's SUV. And yeah, the Model S, the Model X actually won pretty convincingly. I'm, I think this is actually really good. It's good to see these car manufacturers purchasing EVs from, from Tesla or from other car companies to benchmark them, it shows you what the future of the automotive industry is. It shows you that, um, you know, Toyota's claims that no more, no more than 30% of the automotive industry will ever be EV. It shows you that those claims are really looking a little bit silly. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.